Hello, and welcome back to my Dragon Age Let's Play. Um, here we are, in Gamlin's house. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go try to rescue Andrews' boyfriend. Um, I've got, I've got a list of things I want to do this time that I think make sense, um, story-wise. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. Um, what? Why? How is there a letter there already? I'll take care of that later. Duty, bait and switch, black emporium, tranquility. Heading into high town at night. There's gonna how be can these nighttime streets be so dangerous? We should clear these idiot thugs out. Oh my god, I love Carver. <laughs> Did anyone know that? Did anyone know how much I love Carver? Um. Here it is. This way is the Chantry. Yeah. Where's my dog? Should I have my dog? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, dog. Yeah. Never a shortage of idiots who think they can take the streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. This like. Stereo sound, I guess. It's like it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Volume varies hugely. This is not where I want to go. I want to go that way. What a fool I am. Mm, all the bodies are gone. That's good, I guess. Do, 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 do. And I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? Yeah. We didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. Only us. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Okay. I know he's over on the other side, but what is over here? Looks like a book that I should be able to read, but I can't. There's sometimes things, but maybe only during the day. Let's go talk to Carl. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! You will never. 
never take another mage as you took him. Oh my god! What's happening? I know what's happening. I'm just trying to just trying to keep up this suspense. Make everything exciting. Who's my dog? I think I have to summon my dog every time. What did you do? It's like you brought a piece of the fade into this world. <laughs> I had already forgotten what that feels like. What did you do? Not the fade part. The angry glowing bit. It's like a gateway to the fade inside you, glowing like a beacon. I have some unique circumstances, yes. But Carl, what happened? How did they get you? The Templars here are far more vigilant than in Ferelden. They found a letter I was writing you. You cannot imagine it, Anders. All the color, all the music in the world, gone. I would gladly give up my magic. But this... I'll never be whole again. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. I would rather die than be tranquil. Help him. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. Ah! I love this game. <laughs> Just... mm. 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 Talk. What happened to you in the Chantry? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But, I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. That really didn't look like a happy, benevolent spirit from where I was standing. The Templars will think the same. We're friends with a monster. Since when is justice happy? Justice is righteous. Justice is hard. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about. He comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Mm. Can you bring him out at will? No. He comes only when I've lost all power over myself. 
It's a madness, a frenzy. I only find out after what I might have done. Wow. Your problems make mine seem small. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me. Yes. Sorry, Carver. But, um... I like to have one of everyone with me. Um... Okay. All right, 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 all why is everyone gotta be trash garbage? It's a fucking bummer, man. So, what do you do? You know I'm a god. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my... The trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. Bless. Did they just kill my dog already? Oh shit. That was fast. I killed my dog very quickly. Oh, <sighs> yeah, that's the thing about being here. So the sewers aren't half as bad as the deep roads. Cool. Got some death loot. Is there anything down here? Aside from thugs. Damn thing. I don't think I can talk to you yet. Like, I don't think. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stick to my plan. You know, take care of this exclamation point, and then we're gonna talk to Varric. Hey, Tom. Tom Wise. Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since Mirren hired me for that Red Iron job. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads, and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? I fought Darkspawn before. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? The Red Iron's been scarce, and business has been a little slow. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Thanks, bro. Cool. Now. Let's leave the area. Shit. Yeah? It's this one, right? This is... This is Abilene's quest. Yep. Okay, squad. There might be some stragglers before the main group. Nothing we can't handle. Is there anything up here? I like things. Mm, I see some. Shit, where's my dog? There we go. Hi, dog. Nice. 
I like really wish that wasn't in my head all the time always. Let me go up there into this little nub. There we go. I think this is not like a real thing. You know. Wish I was faster. Okay. How did that not get him too? Coming in for a rear assault. Nice. I just really love this game. I just think it's really good. And hopefully... I will get another squad member in this episode. That's the plan. Hey! Barrack, you're supposed to know about those. That's why I bring you with me, because you're a rogue. Son of a bitch! I'd like this to stop. Ooh, nice! Look at that elf fruit. I love the elf fruit is like weed, but only to elves. And theory. That's nice. I appreciate that. My dog dead. Oh my god. Yo! He's a pup. Um, bark, bark, bark. Um, bark, 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 bark. Um, bark, 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 bark. Is there anything up here? Something. Some rubble. Ooh. Worth it. Uh, We're close to the ambush hawk. Be ready. I'm kind of ready. Is that enough? Is it enough to be kind of ready? There's our targets for the first <laughs> Do you mean they're rear assaulting? Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. Hmm. This quest is not exactly Someone's how I left a surprise here for us. Remember it. How did no one trip that? <laughs> We're good to go. Thanks. Thanks, Eric. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, that was very nice of you. Thank you. Okay. So we'll go to 
the Viscount's Keep. Stop kicking the wall. Good luck getting in. I've, I've been, been waiting all day. day. Hierarchy of the circle. How much longer do I have to wait? Good day, Sir Art. Sup, dude. Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. Fine day, Sir Art. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. Let us sit here, twiddling our thumbs. I don't know where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. You took more than I thought you would. Why would it matter which guard killed those bandits? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. And this is probably a bad time to discuss my bill with him. He'll jail you. I don't doubt that. The rest, though. Well, the duty roster will have my next patrol. Sounds like I'll have plenty of time to follow you around. Threaten my friends. Not letting that one go, Captain. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours. It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. A guard can't handle a few bandits. I don't like surprises. That route had been clear for weeks. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. Mm, the satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush? You're sure you want to pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. Can't any group in this city stand on its own? We do just fine, thank you. But if our own captain is putting us in danger... I have to check this, Hawk. These men, they're like you. Like family. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Hmm, interesting. The guard will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, um Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. That's interesting. I Good guess day, we will go and deal with that. And we'll do bait and switch. Because they both happen at night in Love Town. I'm just really excited for bait and switch. I waited so long to do it my first time. Because it doesn't seem like it's anything exciting. Okay, so that's bait and switch right there. Oh, here they are. There's so many. Get back. 
You know. You know what I'm saying. There are so many of these guys. I think I see a circle. Okay, Hamlin got him. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? I think that question is a little belated. Alright, so while we're on our way, let's stop and do this. We might as well. Oh, that's the perfect that's the perfect justification for this. Are you answered? Ah, I'm always thinking mother. about the fanfics. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? Just tell me what you want. Of course. Listen to me babbling like a lyrium smuggler, which I'm not. My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. <laughs> By the Paragons? Not so loudly? <laughs> My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Huh. Yes. That's how I want things to go. I like my Abilene rivalry. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. Well, I'm sad Abilene talked over that. Because that's adorable. Yeah, I like my Abilene rival rivalry. I like my Carver rivalry. I like everyone else's friendship. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing another guard to this mess. on patrol and they came out of nowhere I took a few down but there were too many at once the captain said this route was supposed to be quiet the seal of the Viscount office details city accounts valuable to a guild of thieves a sacrificial delivery with one of our own Captain Jevon will answer I think a bloody response is in order that's not the way of a guardsman. Something Jevon has forgotten, if he ever knew it. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome no. him in prison. Beric, I didn't want that rivalry with you. Mm, but let's go. Let's go do the thing that we've all been waiting for. The bait and switch. Ah. 
You know what I'm saying? Pew, pew, pew. Looks like my dog disappeared again. I always gotta be on top of it. I am never on top of it. Come on, guys, you can help if you want. Thank you. For nothing, you useless reptile. That's the How to Train Your Dragon quote. In case you uh, didn't know. The only one. The elves should stand with us. They have suffered too. That's enough! <laughs> I love Barrick. I don't know if that's clear. I just I love Barrick so much. Aveline, stay down there. Keep beating people up. That's what I need from you. Aggression and violence. Grab that. Grab this codex entry. Meryl's house eventually. I'll oh, grab that. Yes, please. Head on into this abandoned house. A sword blade. What the fuck? What is that doing? Stuck in the floor. Here we go. Oh no. Bloody time. Who put us up to this? I guess we had no choice but to go back to Anso and tell him. Gather your party and venture forth. Yeah. Not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Well, I think that, that is fucking rude. So, how about you don't do that? Or, how about I kill you for trying? I feel like I should adjust Aveline's tax. I feel like she's doing a really bad job of taking the initiative. 
Oh my god, there's more! Wait, wait, there's more! That everyone. Okay, let's see if that kind of fixes Abilene's behavioral problem. Uh oh, what's happening? I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing now. Captain! Your men are dead, mm -hmm. and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> when I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. We faced worse. Impressive. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest, the one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. All that for an empty chest? No. There's more. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Denarius wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Kunari mage, a personal pet to mock Kunari custom. Ouch. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you, I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Yes! Aveline. I didn't want that from you. Okay. Um, so I love Fenris. Fenris. I love him. A lot. Gideon Emery is amazing. His voice is so great. I love listening to it. Um, 
I've actually purchased audiobooks just for that purpose. Um, the first time I played through this, I like kind of had a couple ideas about who these characters were and whatever. Um, but going into it, I didn't know a lot. And I was like, hmm, I wonder who I'm gonna romance this time. Um, the only person that I like feel like I have a solid understanding of based on being on Tumblr and these things. The only one who's sort of familiar to me is Fenris. And I don't think I want to romance him. And then, boom, he turns the corner and he's voiced by Gideon Emery. I literally had to take a break. I like fell onto my floor. Just like overwhelmed um, and then went into my parents room and laid on their floor and was like oh my god it's, it's Gideon Emery I didn't know I didn't know it was gonna be Gideon Emery um, and I was like well I guess I gotta guess I gotta romance the broody elf I guess this is gotta happen Oh my god, why are there so many? There's so many of these assholes. Okay, I'll take care of that eventually. Maybe. I just wanna leave. What is that? I'm not gonna do that today. I'm busy. Trying to get busy. What? <laughs> I'm the worst. Um, yeah, I go listen to Gideon Emery all the time, always. Final Fantasy XII is one of my very, very favorite um, video games of all time. It's my second favorite of all time. Um, and uh, that is in large part because of Balthier. And now, here's that voice again. I read somewhere. Where am I going? That voicing Fenris was one of Gideon and Emery's like, favorite voice acting gigs. Um, a lot in a lot due to the fact that no one has left the mansion but I've heard nothing within Daenerys may know we're here I wouldn't put it past him I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys he is a magister of the Tevinter Imperium oh is that all nothing to worry about then there, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. We shouldn't wait any longer, then. Agreed. Because when he, like, went in to read these lines they were just like yeah use... I am not afraid of you Daenerys use your regular voice because you don't have to put on any kind of accent or inflection Everyone's just... Now you meet your mate. just use your voice and like hmm this is good it's good stuff it's regular voice holy shit I think his regular voice sounds a lot like, um, healthier. Just maybe a little rougher. Which, uh, I'm cool with it. That's, that's, that's fine by me. He sent spirits to do his fighting for him. Daenerys, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us. Holy shit. Speak to me all the time, always. Oh, 
Oh, it's a lot of those guys. Where's my dog? There's my dog. Giddy swag. Can I open any of those doors up there? It like kind of seems like it doesn't want me to, but I can. What's in here? Not a whole lot, but every bit helps. Oh. Can you do it, Varric? I like maybe feel you like you want me to do what? You can't. Uh, I don't think so. We're so close, though. Not going to happen. Oh, this is probably. That's you need not a, really my thing. You need a key. Okay, let's keep let's keep going. Let's keep walking around. This shithole. Let's go try that door again. Now that we've got the Magister Key. Let's see if we can get up the stairs. Right behind you, Hawk. Carl was a good mage, a good man. It goes against all Chantry law to make him tranquil. We need to find him before he escapes. Oh, now we fight! <laughs>
I had hoped... No, it doesn't matter any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. Maybe. But I love you. What about that? No! Cool. Now let's go talk to Fenris. Because he is probably sad. And we love him, so we don't want him to be sad. Oops. But we can't find our way through this mansion. So, <laughs> who knows if we'll ever see him again. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another mage. I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? So you get rivalry points, no matter what you pick, but to you can minimize the damage. I'll let you figure that out for yourself. You are skilled. I know that much. I think that one's fine. Hawk isn't the only mage around here. I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize. For nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> <clears throat> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Daenerys. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Yes! Yes! This is, my, this is the ultimate squad, really. Always calling and getting rid of idiots. Especially thugs who target the streets just because it's dark. Alright! So, now that we've got our boy, I think, hey, just trying to be with you. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, thanks for tuning in. 
really appreciate it. I'll hopefully see you next time when we, I think, will go drop off that necklace Flemeth gave us. Maybe meet someone. And maybe do some things for Sebastian. Um, who won't join us until Act 2 anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!